I have learned a lot of interesting things while volunteering for the historical society of my county. And right now, I am in the society's museum, looking at the only known photograph of an unknown insect. The photo itself is a black and white still of a lost preserved specimen, and remains the only graphic evidence of the local legend. And though the resolution is poor, the specimen looks quite formidable for its size. A moth-like insect sporting long mandibles and antenna, somewhat resembling a Dobson fly. And apparently, there were swarms of these things in scattered areas throughout our county for several weeks during the summer of 1828. They were mainly active at night, and several sources mentioned that their red eyes could be seen faintly glowing in the dark. Now, it's unclear exactly what their diet was like, but they were said to have decimated crops, killing several pets and livestock. One source claims that they consumed blood from humans, but this has not been corroborated. We do know that they had stingers, a few children, elderly folks, even died from their stings, which the few physicians who lived in the region at the time were almost completely unable to treat, except for a couple of primary documents that mention a similar swarm event during 1628 in the same area, this is really the only known appearance of these insects. And recently, an entomologist has been working with the historical society to explore the story further. With only the photograph and some periodic documents, he does not have many leads. But he has come up with a theory, based on the two references to a similar occurrence back in 1628. Some insects lie dormant in the ground, or in wood for years at a time, emerging after several years to mate, reproduce, and essentially die whereupon their offspring burrow back into the earth to repeat the cycle. A, a well-known example of this is the Magica Cicada, which emerges in swarms at 13 and 17 year old intervals in many regions throughout the Midwest. The entomologist believes that this strange insects from 1828 were on a 200 year brood cycle, something that he had previously thought was impossible. And I pray that he is wrong.